Hey guys, this is Sam. Today we're going to be talking about iOS 10.3.3. It was released for everybody right now. You can head over to settings, general, and software update and grab the latest update. There were also some macOS, watchOS, and tvOS updates as well. So a pretty big day for updates overall. But let's go ahead and jump into what's new in iOS 10.3.3. So if we take a look at the official change log, it says that iOS 10.3.3 includes bug fixes and improves the security of your iPhone or iPad, which is a pretty disappointing change log because at the end of the day, that really doesn't tell us anything. That's because all of the actual changes in iOS 10.3.3 are hidden inside of the link below, the security updates tab. There is so much that changed this time around. Apple really focused, rather than adding features this time around, they just wanted to make our iOS devices more secure, and that's exactly what they did. You can see the list of things that changed is very long, so it's not gonna be worth it to break down every single individual change. And I'm not a developer, so I don't honestly understand everything, but a few things did stick out to me that I really wanna highlight. So first up, there was an issue where notifications on the lock screen were Appearing, even if you had that option disabled. So that would kind of be a security risk if you didn't want anybody seeing your notifications and then they were showing up anyway. So good to see that fixed. This one's kind of funny. There was an issue in Safari where if you went to a malicious website, it could invoke infinite print dialogues. So it would just like keep asking you to print the page infinitely and would more or less lock up Safari and make it unusable. So Apple's fixed that to throttle the print dialogue so they can't just all pop up infinitely at one time. It's gonna slow it down so you would actually be able to have more control of the situation. And there are so many other WebKit and Safari changes. Browsing the internet in iOS 10.3.3 is gonna be a lot safer. There were so many issues fixed regarding if you visited a bad website, what that website could actually do to your device and Apple's done a really good job of cracking down and making your device more secure so I respect that a lot and uh, even though this is not the most exciting update as far as real changes go it's good to see that Apple is taking the time to make browsing the web something that most people do multiple times each and every single day safer than ever now there's one last security change that I want to highlight and this one I think is the scariest to me it says that if somebody was in range of the Wi-Fi chip of your device they could execute some code on it so Apple says that they fixed this by fixing a memory corruption issue, but anytime somebody could mess with the wireless functionality of your iPhone, uh, it's kind of freaky. So I was very glad to see that fixed in iOS 10.3.3. So those were some of the most interesting security changes in this update that really stuck out to me. If you do want to read the full list, I will definitely leave that linked down below in the description. Now moving on to something slightly more exciting, in the very first beta version of iOS 10.3.3, we saw new wallpapers, and never have they been released other than on the new 10.5 and 12.9 inch iPad Pros, but they look like this, and I think to date, this green beach wallpaper is my favorite wallpaper ever. If you guys wanna download these, I'll also leave a link down below in the description. I think all of these look really great, and why Apple didn't put these in the final version of iOS 10.3.3 for everybody to download, I don't know. It seems like it would have just made sense, but maybe it's one of those quote unquote exclusive perks for picking up one of the new iPads. Let me know what you think about those wallpapers and the security updates down below and whether or not you will be updating it to iOS 10.3.3. One last thing that I'd like to touch on is the performance of iOS 10.3.3 because since I've been using it, I don't know if there are concrete updates over iOS 10.3.2 that make it run better and faster and smoother, but I can tell you what I'm feeling, and I feel like it could be slightly better than iOS 10.3.2. The animations are so fluid, and I'm using an iPhone 7. I've only tested this on an iPhone 7 and maybe my iPad at some point, and on both of those devices that were the newest on the market, it ran really well. But if you have an older device, I still think that iOS 10.3.3 is a really good update because it seems like it is the best version of iOS 10 that I've used to date, and it really should be, because this will probably be the last thing that we see before iOS 11 later this fall. iOS 11 is on the horizon with a ton of new exciting features and changes, so if you haven't seen my videos on that, you can check those out on screen right now, and if you enjoyed this video, it would always help me out if you hit that like button. For more videos on future iOS updates, hit that subscribe button. I've been Sam, I hope all of you are doing great, and I'll talk to you later.